In this assignment, you have to implement a stopwatch with five laps. So, as soon as the board is powered up or reset, the CLCD should display the message shown. The start or stop key is used to start the timer. The first line should show the current time. The lap or reset key should capture the lap time. The latest lap record should be shown on the second line. It should be possible to capture five lap time records at max. To view the recorded laps, you need to stop the timer using start or stop key and press scroll up and down keys. On press off the lap or reset key, while the timer is not running, all the timings, including the recorded laps, should get cleared. You should have knowledge on Input Output Port, CLCD, Factor and Switch, Matrix Keypad and Timers. The objective of this assignment is to learn and understand the basic working of the port, that is how to configure the port pins as input and output, and how to configure the port pins as digital. Interfacing CLCD as 8 or 4 bit mode, that is instruction and data mode, read and write mode, and commands. Interfacing matrix keypad, that is interfacing tactile switch to the microcontroller as active low or active high, tactile switch bouncing effect and how to avoid it, and edge trigger input. You should also learn and understand about interrupts and its fundamentals, timer and its need, timer and its fundamentals like resolution, tick, scale, and quantum timer configuration, time calculations for specific needs. The inputs required for this assignment are MKS1 as start or stop, MKS2 as lap or reset, MKS3 as scroll up, MKS4 as scroll down and timer. Please note that you should be able to stop the timer any time to view the lap record and continue to start the timer to capture the new lap if the lap count is less than 5.